Well, hello everybody, what's the whole universe? Hope everything's fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences. And today we're gonna talk about the interesting thing that happened with me today. Today I uploaded one video on my Russian channel and I choose to not really a nice name for it, like with negative triggering to hype, to make more views from it. But I decided uh, then to choose it back to the positive one and it was a right decision, really. I think that uh, no need to play with the positive or negative triggering names. I, uh, actually, there is no negative positive. It is only our like attitude for it and what we feel. And I felt really not really nice when I choose, <laughs> when I have cho had chosen the name of my video with negative triggering. I felt, ah, Jesus Christ, I will be with this negative triggering and I don't want it. I want some positive one and it will be good. And uh, so I decided to make it back to the positive and uh, made it. And by the way, where are we? We are on the region of Moscow. It is the south uh, south part of Moscow and smells really like shit. I mean that uh, S H I T and uh, <laughs> and uh, also uh, really really there there were because of the canalization and uh, something like under the under our ground we have something that smells uh, like like uh, like uh, I don't know how to say it correct uh, with more political correctness and uh, <laughs> like this okay it is the same thing as to say about fat people there are fat people or gravity gravity punished i mean like uh, fat people like hey fat bus or you can say not fat bus you can say gravity punished or gravity something happened with him Yes, some joke kind of euphemist, euphemisms of George Carlin. And uh, today is everything good. Uh, I was, ah oh, yes, right now I'm in Krasnostraitel place. I'm going to the Krasnostraitel station. It is uh, the Bob the Builder. And uh, I was on the Ulitsa Akademika Yangele. It means the street of Academy. Yangel, academic Yangel, uh, and who is he? He is a nice man, scientist. Yes, a rocket scientist. <laughs> I don't know rocket or not, but scientist in Russia. Sometimes we don't know names of the streets. If you know every type of the streets in your city, congratulations for you. Really, I am so glad, but I don't know fully. <laughs> but I, I will be glad if I know it. Yes. And I think that someday it will be. And I was walking today with the one girl. We were communi communicating good. It was, I don't want to call it like a dating or something, but we had a good time. And uh, we are uh, meeting not only like today, not only yes, uh, yeah, yes, yesterday we, we were too. Uh, but uh, sometimes, yes, some days, and uh, she is a good, uh, smart woman, I want to say, and uh, with uh, nice, really nice, smart, and uh, with a kind heart. I mean that uh, she is really like a good person with good intent. I want to say because uh, sometimes people are uh, with uh, intent. I have a good one too but she is more like strict rules for good intent because i am a writer and i understand that sometimes i can say that it is a person did a right intent and good intent because of the kind of uh, storytelling you know that uh, when you describe a villain uh, some people have good intents and kind intents because of uh, they are villains and uh, they want kindness to them and their fellows like uh, you understand the same with the nazi they had good intent for them but you understand that they were <laughs> they were not really nice with the good intent yes you understand it but for them it was yes maybe maybe yes uh, but uh, okay for terms of use of youtube i'm not propagandic here it is only for scientific research and some of the artistic it is uh, the storytelling i i'm doing i'm not a propagandist of something not really nice things okay one minute i will not speak so loud because some of them are 
looking at me. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was kind of, I don't know, I feel sometimes shy when uh, people walk to me and so uh, like near me. Oh, some of the policemen. Wow, something happened. Crime. It's a Pulp Fiction. It's a Quentin Tarantino movie. I don't know why, but uh, sometimes, today I felt this way. Why am I scared of uh, bad words? I started to feel it. Not like a scared, but sometimes I trying to don't use it. I mean that that can bring a negative context in a situation. Because when I say, oh, crime and punishment, or maybe pulp fiction, maybe it is uh, about words, yes? Some people can say. But uh, in the meaning that everything is nice, then it's okay. But I wanted to say that because I named my video renamed, I decided that till I publish kind of eight books, eight different books about like my books uh, on the positive things, Till this moment, I will not upload any type of the, I hope, I hope, negative triggering, tr negative triggering videos without saying that I upload it. I mean that if I don't feel it, all right. Or maybe I will not feel so like super artistic and uh, acting. Jesus Christ, someone is waiting here. Maybe it's not a real car. Maybe they are really. It looks like not uh, real people here, but uh, okay. Ah, I know, he was on a car. It was a uh, driver, driver of this car. Because sometimes I feel for words, kind of emotions, you know? And uh, not really nice, maybe emotions. And uh, I don't know, uh, know why, I don't want to feel it. I don't want to feel, ah, yes, I want to feel it, emotions, because I am a human, and it's nice to feel emotions. But sometimes when I say a bad word, I feel kind of guilt or something for a word that I said. Maybe I felt it a bit even before of my life, but right now I have more kind of maybe moments of my life that says what it means. Because previously it was not connected to my mental images, and previously I didn't know English so well or Russian so well. And when I know the meaning of a word and uh, what it means and maybe some situations that are associated with these words, then I feel kind of the sorrow of people who said it. Yes, I think so. I think so, yes. I think so, yes, it's true. I think that's why we feel sometimes not uh, really good because we think about the maybe future circumstances, consequences, and things that could happen. And also about the past that happened. And by the way, it's our station, it's the worker. He's walking here. And nice, really, look at this. It is a new, it's a new place. And also I noticed that I like movies of Quentin Tarantino. I mean that in a way of how story tells. Not maybe fully about the blood and something like this, violence. Violence is funny sometimes, not, uh, not every time. Not every time, guys. I mean that uh, violence artistically gifted. In the meaning of the when author wanted to bring you joy by it. Not like something bad. And you know fully that it is nobody was harmed. It was only for a funny purpose, like people create sometimes uh, horror stories and they want to bring something funny from it, maybe some values, positive things. In the meaning of, because you read the horror, you will not feel it in real life more, because you already know the situation and uh, it happened before and you know how to do. Yes, if you think this way. And you can find uh, always in life positive things and negative. Try to find more positive. It's my intent to you. But if you want to find negative, okay, then if you want to find negative, then it means you find positive because you want to find negative. And it means you are happy when you are trying to find negative because it makes you happy. And it means that you are fully trying to find positive. But uh, 
in a mini of <laughs> like I, I hope you understand it but in a, in your contextual meaning the negative negative word right now means for you positive and you changing concepts it is the same as in russian language you say something and in english and you mixed some words and forgot what's uh, the name of something and sometimes it is the freight freight typo freight 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 uh, speech typo you know uh, Fred's speech type it is when you are saying something and something accidentally you used uh, not a correct word for it because it it brought to you by your mind and uh, but meaning was really good it means that words are not meaningful for us words words are not meaningful guys it is uh, the main concept but 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 guys, guys uh, listen words are not meaningful because this symbols and sounds but behind the symbols and sounds we have associations associations of our nation associations of different people associations of our our <laughs> our own associations and also emotions uh, that are brought by these associations it is the main thing that you should know about words guys and if you want to be positive then bring to this positive things and then every every word on the planet will be positive for you no need to be scared like in the meaning of like feeling scared feel good feel brave feel positive and everything will be fine that's why sometimes you can feel sorrow for any type of a word because every association with any word you connect it with a sorrow and the same with happiness when you feel happiness for every type of a word that you use then every word means for you happiness and the same with uh, scaring and negative things and kind of disgusting exhaustion exhaustion yes i hope you understand if you wish till this moment let me know please your opinion and if you are agree then let me know if you not agree <laughs> you can let me know too but i have the statement that i want to, the, you to say that yes i'm correct i'm a correct one i think so because really it is one of the meanings and we can go also in the different uh, places because jesus christ i was creating my own languages and uh, I was constructing my own languages and I know what I'm saying because when you construct your own language you can bring the emotion to the world you can bring to this sorrow or happiness and uh, some mental images and specific symbols but actually it is only a picture that's why sometimes people don't see art like they don't uh, like, don't feel art I mean they look at uh, the picture of the Leonardo da Vinci or maybe Picasso and they are saying like, oh, what's, what's, uh, what they brought? It's not really nice and it's not really good. They are speaking this way because they don't feel it. They don't have some associations with it. That's why words are the same. But words are almost everywhere. That's why we feel for them something. And so when you want to uh, when, when you want to feel something towards to pictures then you need to look at pictures more to think about it more surround it with pictures and then you will feel something for it at least some associations with it that you was watching at it at least and the same with sounds music sometimes you can listen ah it's not bringing so much value to me it's not really nice it's uh, kind of uh, not uh, it's a piece of uh, s-h-i-t you can say it but but guys <laughs> gentlemen and but i want to say that uh, if you will try to bring some happiness to the music you will feel it if you want to find some sorrowness in the music you will feel it if you want to find some love or something else you will feel it and uh, it is uh, the mental work that's why we have psychotherapists and what they do they trying to connect these words with some your associations if you can't do this by your own some people can do this or maybe don't know approaches how to do this but i'm surely know i surely maybe it, it will be believe believe i surely believe that you can do this by your own i think so at least i can if you can construct a language then you can bring the same 
with uh, your other things. I don't know how it works, but I feel it, kind of. Okay, let's smile while doing this. Or let's cry while doing this. Or maybe feel a little bit of uh, danger <laughs> or something like this. It was kind of not really <laughs> maybe good to say uh, danger <laughs> on, a, <laughs> on a station. Okay, we are walking here. It was nice. Thank you a lot for watching this video. See you next time. You are a cool guy or girl. Be cool and always super solidity. You know that everything, everything depends on you. See you next time. Bye-bye.